Hello children, welcome to another session of Integrals. My name is Kavitha Esnaya, Faculty of Silver Hills Public School, Code Code, Handling Mathematics, Class 12. In the previous sessions, we discussed integrals which we did by substitution or by partial fraction. In the first method, we will give a suitable substitution to the integrand so that the derivative also will be present here. In the second partial fraction, depending on the form of rational function, we make it into simpler forms and do the integration. In this session, we will deal with the problems of another type which we are saying as integration by parts. When we find the integral of a product of two functions, we have to follow a certain rule. You can see integral of the product of two functions equal to first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function. I will say once more to make it clear integral of the product of two functions will be equal to first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function. But when we do integration we have to select which is the first function. To select the first function, we follow a rule, the ILATE rule. What is ILATE? I L A T E. What does each letter represent? Let us see. I inverse function. L logarithm function. A algebraic function. T trigonometric function. And E the exponential function. We have to give preference to these type of function while we select the first function. Now let us do some examples. Integral x sin x dx which we will select as the first function. You can see x and sin x. x means an algebraic function. Sin x is a trigonometric function. I L A algebraic then comes trigonometric. So let us select x as the first function. So let us apply the rule. Say the rule in mind and doing the problem will be easier for you. Okay. Equal to. So integral of a product of two function equal to first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first function derivative of x is 1 into integral of second sin x dx then the whole dx equal to first function x whose derivative is sin x what is integral sin x whose derivative is sin x cos x derivative is minus sin x there is only sin x, no negative. So we shall give minus x cos x minus integral, integral sin x is minus cos x then the dx. The minus minus makes it plus equal to minus x cos x plus integral cos x dx equal to minus x cos x what is integral cos x whose derivative is cos x sin x so it will come sin x plus the integration constant c the answer it's very simple isn't it say the rule in mind then it will be easier for you let us see another question Integral x e raised to x, an algebraic function and an exponential function. So which we will take i l a t e, a comes before e. So x I am underlining to avoid confusion. 
first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of x1 into integral of e raised to x dx into outside 1 dx equal to x into integral e raised to x is e raised to x minus integral integral e raised to x is e raised to x dx equal to x e raised to x minus again integral e raised to x is e raised to x itself plus a constant c. You can take e raised to x here outside e raised to x into x minus 1 plus c. The final answer. This was also a simple question. Now let us do next question. Integral x sin inverse x by root of 1 minus x square. We studied the rule for product of two functions. So, I L A T E I the inverse you can see a inverse function here. So, let us take the inverse function as the first function. I will give a circle that is our first function. So, let us start first function into integral of the remaining part ok integral of x dx by root of 1 minus x square first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, 1 by root of 1 minus x square into integral of second the same will repeat integral x dx divided by root of 1 minus x square again a whole dx. Now you can see integral x dx by root of 1 minus x square let us give that as i1 simplify separately then substitute here. So, I am giving this part as I1 and same comes here I1. Let us do this I1 separately then come back to this point. So, this is our I1 integral x dx by root of 1 minus x square equal to how will we do this integration? We have studied already in the previous sessions how to do this integration we have to give 1 minus x square equal to t. Let us give substitution 1 minus x square equal to t differentiating with respect to x minus 2x dx is equal to dt x dx will be equal to minus dt divided by 2. This values we will substitute equal to instead of x dx minus dt by 2 I am giving here divided by root of t equal to minus 1 by 2 this is integral t raised to minus half dt. What is integral x raised to n? x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, minus 1 by 2 t raised to minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1. What does it make? Equal to minus half t raised to half divided by half. The 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. You will get minus t raised to half and what was our t? 1 minus x square. So, this will become minus root of 1 minus x square. So, the integral i1 became 
minus root of 1 minus x square. Now let us substitute this value in the i and find the final answer. So equal to sin inverse x in the place of i1 minus root of 1 minus x square then comes here minus this part we have to write like that 1 by root of 1 minus x square into minus root of 1 minus x square into dx. Now this both will get cancelled you will get one negative outside root of 1 minus x square sin inverse x then comes minus minus plus integral dx. What is integral dx? x. So final answer minus root of 1 minus x square sin inverse x plus x plus c. This is the value of the given integrand. Let us see another question. Integral e raised to x sin x dx. e raised to x exponential function. Sin x is a trigonometric function. In this question, you can take either of them as the first function. Both way, when you do, you will get the answer. Two times you have to use the rule of integration of the product. Let us take here e raised to x as the first function. e raised to x I am underlining first function equal to first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function. I said the rule depending to the function you should write accordingly equal to e raised to x into integral sin x cos theta's derivative is minus sin theta. So comes minus cos x minus integral e raised to x into minus cos x dx. You can see here two negatives. Let us make it positive equal to minus e raised to x cos x plus integral e raised to x into cos x dx. Again we have to apply the rule because you can see here integral e raised to x cos x product of two function. Let us take e raised to x itself as the first function minus e raised to x cos x plus saying the rule again first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second function. Now let us write minus e raised to x cos x then next one equal to minus e raised to x cos x e raised to x now comes integral cos x whose derivative is cos x sin x. So sin x then comes minus integral e raised to x into integral cos x is sin x sin x dx left side was our i can you see any similarity in this particular step yes that is i itself 
So, we are getting this is our i, left side was 1 i equal to let me take e raised to x outside sin x minus cos x then comes this minus i. The i comes to opposite side becomes i plus i 2i. 2i equal to e raised to x into sin x minus cos x. Final step i equal to e raised to x by 2 into sin x minus cos x plus the integration constant c the final answer. Here in this question we applied the rule twice and we selected e raised to x as first function you can select either of them and do accordingly. Let us do another question of applying the product of two functions integration equal to. Here you can see x square an algebraic function and second a logarithmic function i l a a comes after l so let us take log x as the first function so we can write first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of log x 1 by x into integral x square dx again a dx equal to log x into what is the integral of x square it is x cube by 3 minus integral 1 by x into integral x square is x cube by 3 dx equal to x cube by 3 log x minus 1 by 3 can be taken outside integral x cube by x makes x square. So, x square dx. We are continuing equal to x cube by 3 log x minus there is 1 by 3 here and integral x square is x cube by 3 x cube by 3 plus the integration constant c. One more step x cube by 3 log x minus x cube by 9 plus c final step. A next question integral x tan inverse x first one algebraic function second is a inverse function. So, which will we take first? The inverse function. Correct. So, tan inverse x first function, first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus x square. 1 by 1 plus x square into integral x dx again a bracket into dx equal to tan inverse x into integral x is x square by 2 minus integral 1 by 1 plus x square into x square by 2 dx equal to 
x square by 2 tan inverse x minus this 2 can be taken outside 1 by 2 integral x square by 1 plus x square dx. We got here numerator x square, denominator 1 x square. If I write here 1 plus to balance, I should write minus 1 so that we can do the integration more easily. So, let us take the first part x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2. Now, I am going to divide the integrand into two parts. One is this part and the remaining integral 1 plus x square by 1 plus x square dx minus half this minus and this minus will make it plus 1 by 2 integral dx divided by 1 plus x square. First term no change we will get x square by 2 tan inverse x then the next term minus 1 by 2 integral dx minus 1 by 2 integral dx and what about the next term what is this have you studied 1 by x 1 plus x square into dx it is tan inverse x so 1 by 2 tan inverse x equal to x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus the constant c. Got final answer? Now let us see a particular type of integrand like this. You can see integral e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x, it is derivative dx. Then e raised to x into fx plus c is the answer. This result, using this result we are going to do some problems. When e raised to x is outside the function and its derivative is present inside, the answer will be e raised to x into f of x plus c. You can see here a question integral e raised to x tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Let us think this as f of x. If f of x is equal to tan inverse x then what is the derivative f dash x it will be 1 by 1 plus x square. So, this will become our f dash x. So, using the result which we saw now, let us write the answer. It is very easy. Integral e raised to x, f x plus f dash x dx. Answer e raised to x into f of x tan inverse x plus constant c. A simple because the given integrand is of the correct form. If it is not in that form, try it. If it is possible, you have to simplify and make to that form and do accordingly. Next question, here also you can see sin x. Let us give this sin x as f of x, then its derivative is seen here f dash x. So, the answer will be equal to e raised to x into f of x plus c where f x is sin x. Another one question e raised to x into 1 by x minus 1 by x square. 
So let us take 1 by x as our f of x. So it is x raised to minus 1 when you take the derivative f dash x will be equal to minus 1 x raised to minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 1 x raised to minus 2 or minus 1 by x square. Now let us come here and see this is our fx. This part including the negative is our f dash x. So it is of the same form which we considered. Integral e raised to x into fx plus f dash x. Answer will be e raised to x into 1 by x plus c. Another example integral x e raised to x by 1 plus x whole square dx. Here let us split this and write and try whether it is of that particular form or not. e raised to x, I am giving a bracket, x is the only numerator, denominator is 1 plus x whole square dx. Keeping here x is seen, here also x is seen, let me add 1 and subtract 1 so it is balanced. Let me try to group like this and see equal to integral e raised to x 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x whole square minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square dx. Here 1 plus x and 1 plus x whole square, one term will get cancelled. We will get equal to integral e raised to x into 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square dx. Now let us try whether the function and its derivative is seen there or not. f of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x which is 1 plus x raised to minus 1. What is the derivative f dash x? n x raised to n minus 1. Minus 1, 1 plus x raised to minus 2 or it is minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square. Now this value let us substitute here and see it became integral e raised to x. This is our f of x and this is our f dash x. Is it the similar form? I wrote the result here f of x is 1 plus 1 by 1 plus x, f dash x is minus 1 by 1 plus x square. So the answer will be equal to e raised to x into 1 by 1 plus x plus constant c. Final answer. Now let us see a trigonometric function inside e raised to x into 1 plus sin x by 1 plus cos x dx equal to integral e raised to x. Let me try by grouping the integrand into two parts. This as part number 1 and the remaining next. So 1 divided by 1 plus cos x plus sin x divided by 1 plus cos x dx equal to. Now some trigonometric identities which we learned in class 11 we are going to utilize here. Cos of 2 theta was 2 cos square theta minus 1. Here is 1 plus cos x. So let me write 1 plus cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos square theta if it is instead of 2 theta, it is x. 
instead of 2 theta it is x. So, 1 plus cos x will be equal to 2 cos square x by 2. This is one result which we are going to apply. Again you can see here sin x. Sin 2 theta was 2 sin theta cos theta. Here instead of 2 theta it is x. So, sin x will be equal to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. This is the second result we are going to apply. Let us see integral e raised to x into 1 by instead of 1 plus cos x 2 cos square x by 2 plus sin x is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 by 2 cos square x by 2 dx. Now equal to integral e raised to x into 1 by 2 1 by cos square x by 2 we can write as sec square x by 2. Sec square x by 2, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 1 cos x by 2 and 1 term will get cancelled. You will get plus tan of x by 2 dx. Now, here you can see function, again a function. Let us see whether one is the derivative of the other. Let us put tan x by 2 as our fx. So, what will be f dash x? f dash x will be equal to sec square x by 2 into 1 by 2. Is it seen here such a way? Yes, this is your f dash x and this is your f of x. So, what will be the answer equal to e raised to x into tan x by 2 plus constant. Let us see another one question integral e raised to x into x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 whole cube dx equal to integral e raised to x. I am writing the denominator first x minus 1 whole cube dx. What about the numerator? It is x minus 3. Seeing this x minus 1 in the mind, let me write it as x minus 1 minus 2. Is it correct? Yes. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Now let me separate into two integrands taking this as one part and see equal to integral e raised to x x minus 1 by x minus 1 whole cube minus 2 divided by x minus 1 whole cube dx. Here one term will get cancelled, one x minus 1 will get cancelled equal to integral e raised to x into 1 by x minus 1 whole square then comes minus 2 divided by x minus 1 whole cube dx. Let us substitute f of x as 1 by x minus 1 whole square. f of x equal to 1 by x minus 1 whole square which is x minus 1 whole raised to minus 2. So, what will be the derivative f dash x? minus 2 x minus 1 raised to minus 2 minus 1 equal to minus 2 divided by x minus 1 
पोल क्यूब इज इट सीन हि यस सो दिस इज युअर एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज युअर एफ डैश एक्स सो वॉट विल बी अवर आंसर इक्वल टू ई रेस टू एक्स इन टू वन बाय एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वेर प्लस द कॉन्स्टेंसी with this our indefinite part gets over next is definite integral we will meet in the next session with definite integrals till then take care bye thank you